everyone, welcome back to another Touring Teacher Lesson video. Today we're going to be doing some more maths. We're going to be finding the area of different shapes. So make sure you've got your times tables ready because we're going to be using your multiplication skills. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got lots and lots of other learning videos for you guys at home. Let's get started. So first of all, what actually is area? You might have heard it before, you might have heard your teacher saying it, but you might have forgotten what it actually means. Here it is. Area is how much space there is on a flat surface. So we're going to be working with 2D or two dimensional shapes. We can use area to help us with lots of different things. Farmers use area to find out how big their fields are so they know how many sheep or cows they can have. So when we are finding the area of a 2D or two dimensional shape, we can use different ways to figure it out. The first one is we can use small squares. So you can see this picture up on the screen. We've got a rectangle with different purple and pink squares inside. It kind of looks like the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. So we're going to use these squares to figure out the area of this rectangle. So we can find the area using these small squares. I'm going to find the area of this rectangle by adding up how many squares can fit in the shape. Now a really important thing, when you're writing your answer, you're going to have a unit of measurement. So that could be centimeters, millimeters, kilometers, meters, however big the shape is. And it needs to have a little two after it. Now that little two stands for squared. If you saw the volume video, you might have seen that we put a little three after it, which means cubed. So this is similar, but today we're working on that little two. Okay, so I'm going to find the area of this rectangle by adding up all those pretty colored squares. You can join me if you want to. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I can count in fives. Let's go from the beginning again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Perfect. So there are 30 little squares inside my rectangle. So that's going to tell me that my answer for the area of this rectangle is 30 squared. Right? That is one way of finding out the area. But there is a bit of a quicker way, and this is when we're going to be using our multiplication skills. If you need a bit of practice, you can pause the video here and do a little bit of your basic facts times tables practice. Otherwise, let's get rolling. So a quicker way of finding the area of a shape is to use multiplication. We can multiply the length times the width of a shape. So we're going to be using rectangles so we can find the area because it's keeping a bit of a pattern so we can get the rules in our head. So there is a rule when you're finding out the area using multiplication. It's quite simple. It's length times width. So the first thing we need to know is which side of the rectangle is the length and which side is the width. Now I have written those on this rectangle for us, so it makes it a little bit easier. But you'll be able to tell the length is normally the longest and the width is shorter than the length. Hopefully that helps. Okay, so the length of this rectangle is seven centimeters. Centimeters is my unit, so I need to make sure I keep that in mind. And the width that I've written is five centimeters. So I'm going to be doing length times width, which is seven times five, which is perfect, 35. Well done, guys. Now I need to put my unit of measurement, so it's 35 centimeters, and that little two squared. So my answer is 35 centimeters squared. Should we try another one? All right, let's look at the length and the width for this one. The length for this one is 11 centimeters, and the width for this one is six centimeters. So we're gonna be using our 11 times tables, or your six times tables. So length times width, 11 times six, which is 66, and the unit of measurement is centimeters again. So the area of this rectangle is 66 centimeters squared. Hopefully you guys got the same answer as well. Let's try the next one. So our next rectangle, we've got length times width again, because that's our rule. The length is eight centimeters and the width is four centimeters. So we're going to remember that it's centimeters for our answer. And we're going to do eight times four, which is 
32, well done. So we've got 32 centimeters squared is the area of this rectangle. So our next rectangle, let's check the unit of measurement, which is kilometers. So this one is a pretty big rectangle. So this rectangle might be a field for a farm, or it might be where a new business has been built, but we know it is a huge rectangle. So let's check what the length and the width are so we can multiply those together. The length is nine kilometers and the width is three kilometers. So we need to do nine times three. Tell me the answer. Perfect, it is 27. So we're gonna do 27 kilometers squared is the area of this rectangle. All right, up on the screen, I'm gonna put three different rectangles with different measurements. And I want you to pause the screen here and see if you can figure out the area of these three rectangles. Make sure you pause because the answers will be coming up straight after. Have fun. All right, how did you do with those ones? Those ones are a bit of a warm up and this one is getting to the big challenge. So we're going to be looking at irregular shapes. So this is when it's not just a straightforward rectangle, it might be a bit of a mishmash put together. So I'm gonna leave this one up on the screen. Using the knowledge that you've learned from the last bits, I want to see if you can figure out the area of this irregular shape. Once you've had a go, we'll go through how you can figure it out. So pause the screen here, see if you can figure it out, and then we'll come back together. Okay, so for this irregular shape, we've got two rectangles put together. We've got width and length for one, and we've got width and length for the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it into the two different rectangles. The one on the left you can see, I'm gonna do length times width, which is seven times four, and that equals 28. And now I'm gonna look at the other rectangle, which has got length of a six, width of three, so I'm gonna do six times three, which equals 18. Now I've got the area of the two different rectangles, but because I'm trying to find the area of the whole shape, I need to add those two together. So I'm gonna do 28 for the first rectangle and 18 for the second rectangle, put them together, and the total area of this irregular shape is 46 centimeters squared. All right, so I divided it up into two different rectangles. I was able to do length times width for both rectangles. Then to find the total area, I added them together. Let's try another one. Okay, either you can pause the video here to see if you can figure it out yourself, or you can follow along with me. This one is a little bit different. Let's see if you can figure out what the difference is between this one and the previous one. Okay, the difference between this one is there's a length that covers the whole bit down the bottom. Now, 14 centimeters is not the length of the second rectangle. 14 centimeters is the length of both rectangles put together. So when I'm gonna divide the irregular shape into two rectangles, I need to figure out the length of the second rectangle. And to do that, I need to use the number that is up the top. So because 14 centimeters is the whole length, I've got five centimeters, which is the width of the rectangle on the left. I'm gonna take five centimeters away from 14 centimeters, and that leaves me with nine centimeters. That tells me what the length is of the second rectangle. Now that I've done that, I can figure out the area of the two different rectangles and put them together. So the first one I'm going to do nine centimeters, times five centimeters, which tells me is 45 centimeters. Now I can do nine centimeters times four centimeters, which equals 36 centimeters. Now the last step, I need to add those two totals together, which is 45 plus 36, and altogether, the area of this whole irregular shape is 81 centimeters squared. Whew, that one was a bit tricky. So hopefully you were able to follow along if not, you can go back and practice the other ones and you can come back and try this one again. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave you with some more activities of these regular shapes that you can try and figure out yourselves. If you need to, go back in the video and you can listen to my explanation again and that can help you through. 
So all these irregular shapes that you're going to try next, you need to try and divide it into two rectangles, find the area, add those together. And the answers will come up afterwards, so you can check if you've got it right yourself. Now, well done with this. This is a bit of a tricky thing to try and figure out, but I know that you are smart cookies and you will work really hard and you can do it. Now, I've got lots of other lesson videos. I've got maths, I've got English, I've got lots of things that you can do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can look at the other learning videos on the Touring Teacher YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys very soon.